Over the course of four centuries, the Roman Empire was a tapestry filled with tales of bravery, strength, intricacy, and valor. The stories of the Roman gladiator emperors, those kings who decided to enter the arena as fighters themselves rather than to watch the games, are some of its most fascinating links. We travel around these Roman Empire marvels today, delving into their dramatic, mysterious, and violent histories. A paradox of power and peril is when Roman emperors' entry into the gladiatorial arena was a dramatic break from their custom of remaining spectators and rulers. Wearing the armor of gladiators, these leaders accepted the danger and grandeur that accompanied their line of work. On the one hand, the public adored them in a way never seen before, taking great pleasure in watching their leaders struggle to survive. Their daring actions in the arena strengthened their reputation as kings and heroes by highlighting their charisma and bravery. Nonetheless, there were a lot of hazards associated with this audacious endeavor. These emperors willingly exposed themselves to an even greater risk because death was a constant possibility in the arena. Additionally, their involvement in the games sparked debate and criticism, endangering their reputation among the nobility. So, the path of the gladiator emperors is a journey of contradictions, a careful balancing act between danger and power. One of the most well-known gladiator, the emperors, was Commodus, the son of Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor. After taking the throne in 180 AD, Commodus became enamored with gladiatorial combat and eventually started taking part in the matches. His obsession with the games became so strong that he started imagining himself as the reincarnation of Hercules and often participated, claiming to be Rome's victor. Commodus allegedly competed in more than a thousand matches, frequently manipulating the results to secure his triumph. He enjoyed the excitement of performing to the adoration of the crowd and the applause that accompanied it. His fixation wasn't without consequences, though. It caused him to become less focused on his imperial responsibilities and raise discontent in the Senate and among the nobility, setting off a series of events that ultimately resulted in his downfall. The narrative of Commodus then thus represents the contradiction of the gladiator emperor, a ruler who, while enjoying the acclaim of the gladiatorial games, neglects the duties of the throne, which finally results in his terrible demise. He enjoyed the excitement of performing to the adoration of the crowd and the applause that accompanied it. His fixation wasn't without consequences, though. It caused him to become less focused on his imperial responsibilities and arouse disapproval in the Senate and among the nobility, setting off a series of events that ultimately resulted in his downfall. The narrative of Commodus thus represents the contradiction of the gladiator emperor, a ruler who, while enjoying the acclaim of the gladiatorial games, neglects the duties of the throne, which finally results in his terrible demise. Roman culture was profoundly impacted by the gladiator emperor's competitive arena displays. The elite became uneasy as a result of the disruption to society caused by this direct involvement, which dissolved traditional barriers between the nobility and regular people. At the same time, the excitement of witnessing their leaders engage in real combat greatly increased the game's appeal. The Emperor's terrible combat in the arena served as a powerful propaganda tool, bolstering their authority and appeal. It portrayed them as heroes as well as leaders, standing up for the very people they were in charge of. The spectacle of gladiatorial fighting contributed to this subtle alteration in perception, which had profound effects on Roman Empire social norms. With all of their showmanship and bluster, the gladiator emperors frequently had tragic endings. Their involvement in the arena contributed to their larger-than-life image, but it also frequently coincided with their demise. As an example, consider the gladiator emperor Commodus, who was eventually deposed in a palace plot despite his pleasure in the games. His disdain for imperial duties and passion for the arena ultimately resulted in his assassination. These leaders frequently saw their reigns ended by violence and rebellion after becoming enthralled with the dangerously alluring gladiatorial arena. This pattern of terrible outcomes simply serves to highlight how unstable authority is in the first place, especially when it comes into contact with the gory spectacle of gladiatorial battle. Even after their rule for centuries, the world is still fascinated with the gladiator emperors. Their stories, which are full of excess, controversy, and ambition, have left a lasting impression on history. 
Their legacy has remained unbroken over time due to the controversial character of their reign and their daring gladiatorial exploits. These leaders have been remembered as dynamic characters who embodied the intricacies, contradictions, and grandeur of their era, in addition to their role as Roman Empire rulers. Their tales continue to serve as a powerful memorial to a time when spectacle, power, and their combination were prevalent. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.